Okay, so let's have this topic, solving rational inequalities. So first, we need to check the given if the right side is equal to 0. Since on this given, the right side is 0, so we can equate now the numerator and denominator to 0 to solve for the critical values. So for the numerator, so we have this x minus 3 equals 0. And to solve for the critical value, so x equals transpose, this becomes positive 3. And for this denominator, so x plus 2 equals 0. Then to solve for the critical value, so x equals transpose this positive 2, that becomes negative 2. So these are the critical values. Then place these critical values on a number line. So this one is 0. We have this x equals positive 3. So positive 1, positive 2, and positive 3. Then x equals negative 2. So negative 1 and negative 2. So these are the two critical values. So this one is negative infinity and positive infinity. Then to find the test point, so these are the numbers before. So before your first critical value, so before negative 2, we have this, negative 3. Then between, so between these two critical values, so you can have this negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. Since we have this 0, so I choose 0. And after, so after your second critical value, so we have this number that's positive 4. Then place these numbers in a sign analysis table. So we have this x and possible values for x. That's negative 3. Then we have negative 2, 0, positive 3, and positive 4. Then for the equation, start with the numerator, that's x minus 3. And for the denominator, that's x plus 2. And this one is the result. Then we need to solve first the critical values. Since these are the critical values, the negative 2 and positive 3. So if x equals negative 2, so this equation becomes 0. And if the denominator is equal to 0, then that equation becomes undefined or error. Then for the second critical value, so if x equals positive 3, so this equation becomes 0. And 0 numerator, the equation becomes 0. Then for the test point, so let's start with x equals negative 3. So if x equals negative 3, so this becomes negative 3 minus 3, that's negative 6. So just take the sign only, that's negative. Then for this equation, so if x equals negative 3, so negative 3 plus 2, that's negative 1. So just write the sign only. Then this negative divide by negative. So when dividing the same sign, the answer is positive. Then for this number, so if x equals 0, so this one is 0, then minus 3, that's negative 3. And for this equation, 0 plus 2, that's positive 2. And negative divide by positive. Since different sign or unlike sign, the answer is negative. And for this one, x equals positive 4. So we have this positive 4 minus 3. That's positive 1. And for this equation, positive 4 plus 2. That's positive 6. And positive divide by positive. So the same sign, the answer is positive. Then in the given equation, since the condition 
greater than 0 and all positive numbers are greater than 0. So therefore, in a sign analysis table, just look for the positive result. Since we have this positive on the left of this negative 2, so in the number line, so to the left of negative 2. And also we have this positive to the right of this positive 3. So in a number line, to the right of positive 3. So therefore, in interval notation, these are the solution of these rational inequalities. So from negative infinity to negative 2, then union, we have this positive 3 to positive infinity. So this is the solution of this rational inequality. And observe that in the interval notation, we can only see the critical values, the negative 2 and positive 3.